So, hello, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Well, still in the market. Still at the Marrakesh market. So, you know what? I kept on coming across this place and I thought I'd give it a review. That's it. Then, that is a place that's basically one of the entrances. That's what, where it's at. Um, and uh, so I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a bit of a taste. See what direction it takes us up. YouTube, YouTube, I review review the YouTube the food. So, what's the name of this? Sh oh, sh uh, yeah. So that's that's what it's shawarma. Shawarma. It's a shawarma. A chicken shawarma. Traditional one. He's told me that it's a uh, traditional to uh, to this part of the world. I don't know if shawarmas are. So I'm sure they're Turkish. But nevertheless, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. See uh, what direction it takes us. Fries. There's three. Three loads of uh, sauces. Well, the fries are just fries. A fries, a fries, a fries. They're not being salted though. There's three sauces you get with it. All regular sauces you get anywhere in the planet. There's nothing unique about it whatsoever. Kind of boring. Um, I'm sure you could buy it at the local Tesco's the, uh, as far as the sauces go anyway. Or any kebab shop. Um, I've got a coke with it. Um, as well as as well as this. So this is the grand thing. That's a shawarma. Let's give it a go. See see what direction it takes us in. Yeah. That's lovely. It's got a uh, pack full of taste. Um, fresh, fresh tomatoes, lettuce. You could hear the crunch of that. So of course you can tell it's been uh, grilled as well in a panini style. So it's done in a panini style. I've not seen that before. But shawarmas generally just wrap them up. It's full, full of uh, full of taste, full of chicken. It's a taste of chicken. You know what? I just don't think it's chicken. It's chicken and beef. Mixed together. Gives it a nice little little taste, a little impact. All this cost me uh, 60 dirham. Not bad. Not bad. For what it is. I think it's a little bit on the expensive side. I'm saying that it's because so the um, so the uh, McDonald's cost me 55 um, dirham. So uh, you know they're uh, in par with what I spent over there. But nevertheless, it's local here, so I thought I'd give the local stuff a bit of a go. I thought it'd be cheaper. But I'll choose this over the McDonald's anytime. We give it a right good bang, bang as far as the taste goes. You can feel the flavours, you can feel the taste, you could feel the sauces coming through. You know, um, it doesn't, it's not plastic tasting like it would be, say, for instance, um, McDonald's. It's actually got nice, strong, decent taste, and you could individually feel the different flavours going through. Coke, slightly more sugary than it is in the United Kingdom, so I'm glad about that. Says, oh, the Coke, it's not a Coke unless 
It's got that sugary base to it. And when they mung them about too much sugar, too much sugar, too much sugar, my reply to that would be, well, drink less Coke. But the bit you're going to drink, you know, you want it full of flavour, you want it full of taste. You know, you want that treat. And this is giving you that treat, that little bit extra. Yeah, different flavour, different taste. Really strong flavours coming through. Uh, really, really lovely. Uh, grilled, quite compact. Now with the chips, just regular chips. No, that one, that one was, uh, that one made a bit of salt on it. I just didn't feel the salt on the, the ones in the past. Yeah, that the flavours, the taste bursting through. They're coming through, hitting the flavours, hitting the taste. Um, can't mourn, to be honest with you. Can't mourn. It's quite, quite good, good flavour there. And more there, some kind of ligament there. So uh, a little bit of a more there. There was a ligament there. That was a uh, no something you couldn't eat. So I had to remove it. Move it. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely taste. Love the taste. I was going to take this in another direction, you know how I like to go off, go off topic. Go off topic. When I was on the plane here, when I was on the plane here, you could, everyone could tell I was English. And I was sitting back and I was contemplating this. What can you do? Because we stopped in France. And there was a lot of French people on. Thing is, I've come to the conclusion, the concept, the idea. That the French, the French, they all, all dress like um, teachers. It's really bizarre. Um, yeah, they substitute teachers generally, but teachers in general, they te dress like teachers. Which is quite bizarre. They've got those tucked in shirts or what you find a teacher wearing. And I found that really, really bizarre. I was contemplating that, I was looking around and I was thinking, if I was to choose a job for all of these, any of these people, it would be fact the te teacher. I'd say teacher, teacher, teacher. Don't know in what subject. Teacher. Not high school teachers, not primary school teachers, sorry, not university teachers, not primary school teachers, not kindergarten teachers, but um, I think the Americans call it middle garden, middle school, sorry, middle school. They're dressed like middle school, which we call in England high school teachers. Have a, have a look next time you're in France and let me know what you think about that. Am I right? Am I wrong? Do, do, they, do they dress like teachers? Do they, well, there comes the alarm. Do they dress like teachers? Is there something quite unusual about their dressings? Uh, I'm not saying every Sunday canary, 
there's not going to be one that doesn't trust. Of course, there's individuals to the case. You know, it's not a hundred percent thing, but the majority of the time, they dress like cheats, which I found really, really bizarre. Anyway, that's been my uh, little bit of a natter off topic. And wa alaikum aslam. I, I've not got any money after this. Just one minute, just one minute. I have the PFC. I do not have that because of the PFC, just I have put that. Yeah. Unfortunately. I, I, I don't, I'm not carrying any money after this. This is last of my money. I'm going back home after this. I, I'm just going home after this, my brother. Sorry. Alright, take care. Aslam alaikum. Now, I'm not against giving charity. Give charity. Give it away as much as you can. But I don't don't like people blagging it. Pretending they're poor. Pretending they need charity when. Uh, YouTube, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Manchester. Uh, original Kashmir. Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, give it, but give it through. Like, char char charity so goes to the people that actually need it, not anyone who comes up to you, um, you know, um, just making up any, any excuse. You know, I've been kind of um, wary of people like that since. Um, just seeing uh, seeing people who are actually begging, getting into Mercedes. Not saying that's um, that's what it is across across the board, but what I've noticed and what I've come across. Um, so for myself now, any charity I donate goes through uh, something legit legitimate, and uh, that's how I like to donate. It goes to the people it needs to go to. Anyway, do subscribe, like, share, comment. To you for now. Bye. See you later.